What's up everybody, uh, today we're going to be talking about my top 5 loadouts for Iron Trials. Normally you know I do 10 loadouts, but I'm only doing 5 since this is an LTM. And it's kind of limited because you need a lot of damage per mag, which is mostly what this is based off of. Uh, it's a few factors that I went uh, into my, with my thinking with this. But it's mostly going to be damage per mag combined with like mobility stuff. So unfortunately Modern Warfare guns didn't really make the cut despite you know the PKM and the Bruin having... Good times to kill in um, in Iron Trials as well as damage for mag because they are in LMGs. Um, and then like the PP Bison had a lot of damage for mag and some other guns. And unfortunately they didn't make it because this wasn't solely based off of damage for mag. If this was solely based off of damage for mag it would be like all LMGs and then it would be only like Bison, Bullfrog, and PPSH because they have the big SMG mags. But all that being said let's go ahead and get into the loadouts and I'll show you what I got for you today. Okay, and so there is one exception to this. I just threw this on a restock um, class. Instead of having a ghost class, I would recommend going restock with stims because the stims do 250 health and taking damage doesn't stop that health. It gives you the full 250 or it gets you back up to 250, whichever comes first, no matter what's going on. So gas plays, fights, whatever. Pop a stim because you get 250 and plating is a lot slower and gives you only three. So stims are ridiculously OP in the Iron Trials mode. Uh, I know Iceman Isaac swears by them. He's been converting people to running stims. Stims are definitely the way to go, especially if you buy a second loadout. Obviously, you do have to buy a second loadout because you don't get it for free. But you could also just run a restock class right off the bat and use like the Psykov, the Amp, uh, Dual M19s, or the Diamati if you'd like. Uh, since this is a grab and drop class, I did go ahead and go with the Psykov fully loaded. But you can go with any of those uh, secondaries. Um, and then I threw the Amax on here. The Amax was hot, ranked fairly high in time to kill on JGOD Spreadsheet. Uh, I, I used data from JGOD Spreadsheet to build these loadouts. I will have that link below. But that's why the Amax makes an appearance on the uh, restock class, just because I wanted to throw it in there. Um, it's a preview of something to come. But that's the restock class. We use Combat Scout in this because uh, with a longer time to kill, somebody runs into cover, you get the ping and you can see where they go. I've been switching more back to AMP in my normal gameplay, but this is really good in Iron Trials to keep track of where people are going since the TTKs are higher and people can evade you easier. Being said, it's a normal AMAX build, model Expressor, Zodiac Barrel, Commando Forward Grip, 45 round mag, VOK optic. You could switch to the Merc or the Ranger, which I know some people like to do, but I prefer to use Commando. You don't get quite the recoil control, but you have better ADS with it. And then Psykov build is monolithic, auto barrel, tack laser, 80 round drum, and fully loaded. You can switch this to the Prisrac grip instead of the fully loaded if you're going to go ahead and run this as your loadout. From there we get into the full loadouts and I'm starting off with the EM2. The EM2's got a lot of recoil, it's a little slow to fire, but it's got high damage per mag because the thing hits like a truck. The TTK isn't super highly ranked and there's stuff ranked above it, but they're either slow LMGs or they're mono warfare guns or whatever. So I went with the EM2 because it does have very high damage. And that's very important in this mode with the uh, higher base health of being 250, fully played being 400. So it's the usual Cold War build, Agency Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Field Agent Foregrip, Stanek 50 round, and Axe Arms 3 time. If you like the site, you could switch out the 3 times for like Serpent Wrap, Airborne Elastic Grip to get the best ADS. Or you could do like Tiger Team or one of the stocks uh, for movement. And then with that, I have the PPSH. It's the normal PPSH build I run, except instead of the 55 round drum, it has a 71 round drum since you do need more bullets to kill because of the higher base health. And you'll see that's kind of a theme, uh, focusing on needing to put more bullets into people. Uh, you could sub out the Raider stock for a Bruiser Grip. Same thing with the Tiger Team Spotlight. You could sub that out for the Bruiser Grip, depending on what you like. You could do the 55 round drum so you get no ADS penalty, but you're going to find you're running out of ammo a lot more than with the 71. So I stick with the 71. And then Quick Fix, Combat Scout, and then Heartbeat or Stim. Four, we have the AK. This thing is a beast. It's a laser. They did just nerf the recoil a little bit on this today, but this thing's still a beast. Um, it's the typical AK build. It's got really good damage from mag. It's got a really good time to kill, even in Iron Trials. Grew Suppressor, RPK Barrel, Spetsnaz Grip, 60 round mag, three times optic. And then here's my one exception to... Uh, mag size and that's the OTS because the OTS just kills so fast but because you only have 40 rounds you do have to run the uh, fast mag but it's an SMG so it's not a huge penalty to ADS uh, otherwise it's the normal Groose Presser, Task Force Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight and Skeletal Stock you could also switch to the Spetsnaz Stock which I know some people like or you could go to the Bruiser Group which has become popular instead of running a stock 
Uh, I still haven't decided if I like the stock or the grip more, but you can run the stock instead of the grip. And then quick fix, overkill, combat scout, semtex, and then either heartbeat or stim. Heartbeat is good in this mode because people usually aren't getting second loadouts like they are in the regular Verdansk mode. Um, and then C58, another gun with a little bit of strong recoil, uh, but a lot of damage per mag, really good damage. You, uh, It's the typical build. It's the agency suppressor, task force barrel, axe arms three times, field agent four grip, and stanag 55 round. Because the damage is pretty high on this gun, just like the M2, you could actually go down to the smaller mag. You could go to the 45. And if you're running this in regular, I would really consider that switch but iron trials needing more ammo i would probably stick with the 55. um and then i just have the same ots build on here again like i said you could switch out stock for like bruiser grip and then quick fix combat scout semtex heartbeat and we go into number two uh number two is going to be the stoner uh and unfortunately lmgs do really well in this mode as much as i'm not the biggest lmg fan and number one is definitely going to be a surprise for people because I've never put it out, put it in any loadout recommendation ever, but we'll get into that. Uh, it's the typical build, agency suppressor, task force barrel, axe arms three times, field agent grip, and instead of the fast mag like I normally run, I run the 120 mm mag because like I said, high ammo is king in this mode. You could go 150 and it's going to hurt your ADS. Not as important ADS with it being a higher health and you having more time. So you can go to the 150. I think 120 is enough and you don't hurt your ADS, but I would either do 120 or 150. I definitely wouldn't do a speed mag because it's already going to have slow enough ADS. And if you're going to hurt your ADS, you might as well go 150. From there, I have the PPSH again. Same thing. Uh, Grew Suppressor, Task Force, Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, Raider Stock, and 71 Round Drum. I said you could make the same adjustments as I mentioned earlier. And then Quick Fix, Combat Scout, Semtex, and then either Heartbeat or Stim. You can run Thermite in this mode, but I still prefer Semtex. And then number one, MG82. I saw Joe Woe completely pop off with it. I've seen this thing uh, resurge as a very good weapon, and I've seen a lot of people running it. It does have trickier recoil than the Stoner, but it ends up number one because it's the only gun that has a sub 1000 millisecond or sub one full second TTK, head, chest, stomach, anything. Uh, in Iron Trials, it's the only one with a sub one TTK no matter where you hit them at. It does have stronger recoil. This is definitely a higher skill gun, just like all the guns on this actually are. None of these guns are easy beams. Um, one gun that got left off this list that you could switch out with any of the ARs I mentioned is the XM4. Very good time to kill. Damage for mags a little bit lower, which was a huge factor in me making this list. But I think this is the king. If you can control the recoil and deal with this gun, MG82 is definitely the king for the Iron Trials mode. Agent Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Axe Arms 3 time. Once again, I went the 125 and then Field Agent Grip. You can go to the 150, like I said, with the Stoner, but for the same reasons, I don't. If you're going to go Fast Mag, I would not go 150 Fast Mag. I'd go 125 Fast Mag or just the regular Fast Mag, but I would definitely recommend the 125 with this or the 150. Like I said, high skill gun. Uh, if you are good with the recoil on this, I would definitely strongly consider this. It's got the better mo movement compared to like all the Modern Warfare ARs and LMGs, and it's got the only sub one second TTK uh, at all spots on the body. And then my favorite gun for this mode is the Bullfrog. Same loadout as always, Grew Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, KGB Skeletal Stock. Only difference, once again, being the 85 round mag. It did get nerfed today, but the nerf was in movement and not in uh, damage. So it's just as effective at killing, it has the same damage range, uh, very good gun for this mode. 85 round is very nice. You can drop, once again, the skeletal stock for uh, the bruiser grip to help movement speed and hip fire. But this is the way I still like to run it. This is, in my opinion, the best SMG for the mode because of the ammo, the good time to kill, the good damage range, and it still has strong mobility. Uh, and so I would run this over the OTS because of the ammo, even though the OTS does have the best SMG TTK for uh, Iron Trials. Uh, but I still prefer the PPSH and the Bullfrog just because I don't always hit the best shots because I'm not super cracked at this game. And I like having either the 71 or the 85, and I like the 85 with the Bullfrog best. But the PPS damage range is an argument you can make for it. And then once again, Quick Fix, Combat Stout, Semtex, and then Heartbeat or Stim. I still like to start off with Heartbeat. But if I don't start off with Heartbeat, I would definitely start off with Stim. But those are my Iron Trial loadouts that I would recommend for you. Uh, try them out. Let me know how they go in, comments below, in the comments below. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more. I'll have JGod's spreadsheet so you can check out the numbers for yourself. link down below as well as my social media. So please feel free to visit those. But I'll see you in Verdansk and Rebirth. 
especially in iron trials after you watch this video get frying have a good day bye